cross-site scripting. So let's just unpack that term first. Cross-site means from one site to another. Scripting means I put in some script and specifically here in the, in the case that I'll show you it's specifically HTML script. So HTML code you know is what creates the user interface inside of a web page, right? We've talked about that a number of times. HTML creates the user interface inside of a website and so cross-site scripting, if you're using HTML, you can use other things as well, but if you're using HTML, cross-site scripting means putting the user interface from one site inside another site. So you get the idea. This is a very, it's a very clever idea, and, and um, it's worked very well in, in a number of cases. Now, for all of these attacks, obviously there are ways to, to thwart the attack or to prevent it from happening, but that doesn't mean that there, are, that, that there aren't vulnerabilities in lots of websites. Um, so, the idea of a cross-site scripting basically is I'm going to put my user interface from my site inside of your site. You think you're interacting with your site or you think you're interacting with site A, but in fact you're interacting with my site and I'm going to use my user interface to collect information from you. Okay, so let's look at, let's look at an example of this. The idea here is we're in a chat site. In a chat site you have user interface for entering comments, right? You, enter a comment and then you post a comment and it goes back up on somebody else's thread and they respond to it, etc., etc. right? You can type whatever you want in that comment. You can type gobbledygook in that comment. You could also, if the, if, the, if the site isn't smart about this, you can also type HTML in that comment. If you type HTML in that comment, when it displays on the other user's site, it's actually going to produce a little piece of user interface. And that piece of HTML that you can type into their site might be a piece of, of HTML that creates a form that says, oh, hey, we logged you out. Sorry about that. Can you type your name and your password in again? Get the idea? That piece of user interface is actually a piece of user interface to my site, not to the original site. I type that piece of user interface as text into a comment box. When it was displayed on the other person's site, it looked like a piece of user interface. It happens all the time. In fact, there's, a, there's an exploit inside of Facebook that, that has just recently come about where they put in a little button that says, delete this post. It looks like delete this post on the Facebook page, but in fact, it's delete this post that posts to somebody else's site and then does all sorts of malicious stuff. Okay, so do you get the idea of the cross-site scripting? Cross-site scripting is specifically about I put my user interface into your site. How do I do that? By typing my user interface as HTML into some input control, into some, uh, into some control that allows me to then post that HTML back onto, um, back onto your website and have it look like user interface. So very, uh, very, very, very clever exploit, but one that's not so hard to protect against if, what do you do? So think about it, what could you do? What would you do to protect your site from this idea of cross-site scripting? Well, what you would do is you'd look at the content of things that people type into your input controls and make sure they're not typing any HTML in there. Now it's kind of a problem, like on a chat site, maybe you want them to type HTML in there, right? So you're going to have to be more clever about it than that. You're going to have to say, well, you can type some HTML in there, like I can allow you to make something bold, but I'm not going to allow you to put a submit button in there. I'm not going to allow you to put a text box in there, right? So you, you specifically restrict not, what, what is user interface? Content controls and decoration, right? You allow the control, you allow the decoration and the content, but you don't allow the controls. Okay, so that's the idea of cross-site scripting.